so now we're going to get into a little hair dressing and i think if you notice that i i am very specific about choosing the word hair dressing um some people think that it sounds dated some people think that it sounds old-fashioned but for us at ted gibson that word hairdresser has a legacy behind it and we love being in touch with that legacy with that tradition with that powerful culture that we have as hairdressers. So we want to talk about being hairdressers in a way that's full of pride and it's full of the glory that it should have. So we have some amazing people out here with us. This is Shell Love. And Shell Love uh, used to be an employee of ours and then has become just a friend and a valuable asset to our team as our makeup director and as a just a fabulous person with great ideas. <laughs> so what are you doing, sister? Okay, so I started off with my model. Um, basically, I made a base. She had a very long hair. And I started off with a base in the middle and kind of just made it a braided um, base. Core? Yeah, core, thank you. Um, to adhere the sponges to. So there's about seven um, sponges in here that I hear it to the core and then I just basically backcombed her hair and brought it up to like a tower and this is great for like editorial avant-garde you can even make it for weddings you wouldn't put as much cushion in here but you can do it for magazines etc and you can put your little accessories here whether it be flowers whether it be ribbon it doesn't matter and this is just a great look if you want to be fashion forward, or if you want to do uh, editorial, et cetera. Shell, I love how you said, like you mentioned a wedding, because when I look at this, I always think, well, that, that's a pretty hair show. Like, I don't know if we would get, get away with that at a wedding. <laughs> but the idea of some of this stuff is, you know, to push the envelope in our thought process a little bit. So maybe you wouldn't do exactly this thing, but having the idea of using forms inside of the hair, being able to master your back combing, being able to incorporate accessories. Those are the things that can set you apart from the hairdresser next door or in the next chair. So the more tips and tricks that you have in your pocket to be able to put on your guest, the more valuable you become to them. So I'm gonna hop on over here to Miss Genevieve, all the way from Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Anybody from Pittsburgh? Oh, we got some claps for Pittsburgh. I got like two claps, Jason. <laughs> okay, well, it's more than my hat got. <laughs> hey, so everybody. what are you doing? Okay, well, we came out with Victoria, and I don't know if you guys saw it when I first walked out with Claudia, but we started off with this foundation here, and I'm going to turn you around, Victoria, so that the camera can get a nice shot. Yep. So we started off with this foundation that we created with a uh, braiding hair. I built a base. And I actually sewed it into her natural hair. I created a braid base on her hair and then sewed the braiding hair into that. Netted it because I liked the texture. It was interesting to me with uh, the curl against the smoothness of the pony. And now we're just working hard at getting this disc-like shape attached. How did you make the disc shape? Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of secrets inside. Um, <laughs> But I started off with a floral foam wreath, which are super easy to find at a craft store. I wrapped the wreath in some pantyhose uh, around the circle here, around the disc, stuffed it with some more braiding hair, and sewed it all together. So looks like these don't necessarily have to be expensive to create. Uh, you might need a little extra time, but you, you can make it work. Awesome, how long yeah. have you been on the team? I have been on the team for two years now, and I've got to tell you guys that it's been absolutely incredible. So I started two years ago, and since then, I've probably been on most main stages with you guys, just educating and also in classrooms around the country. And now the Ted Gibson Advanced Academy is kind of gearing to come in salons nationwide, which is super exciting. And we've also launched the online education, Advanced Academy. Academy.tedgibson.com, exactly. And for the month of June, it's actually free. Yeah. So Score. the code for that is Ted Gibson free. I'd take advantage of that because Ted, both Ted and Jason and members of the team 
have uploaded incredible content and will continue to do so. So free education, I mean, you can't beat it. Yes, yeah. we are um, making sure that we're putting up new content every month. So there'll be two videos every month that are added to the library. You can go back and visit as many times as you want. It's unlimited access. Ted Gibson. Yes. What you doing? Well, you know, I love hairdressing. That's something that is really close to my heart. I love being able to create um, just with maybe with a little bit of back brushing and a little bit of back combing to create something really interesting. Um, as an editorial hairdresser and a celebrity hairdresser, um, when you work with a photographer um, in a kind of setting, you have to be able to change the hair to make it look different in each editorial, in each page. And also the same thing for a celebrity when you're working with them. So I do a lot of celebrities as you've seen. I still continue to do that as part of the bulk of my work. Um, from Priyanka Chopra to um, Lupita Nyong'o to Deborah Messing. And for me, it's always been about the textures of hair, not the color of the skin, because you can be very, very light and have fine straight hair, and you can be very, very dark and have, oh, excuse me, you can be very, very light and have kinky hair and be very, very dark and have straight hair. So for me, it's always been about textures and what I can create in texture to make it shine or manipulate it the way that I wanted to manipulate it. So what I did was I started off with a ponytail. Fiona did a full head weave, who you met earlier, Fiona. She did a full head weave on her so I could have something to work with. And then I'm continuing to create something from there. For me, this whole collection that we're doing is very French couture. Yeah. So I wanted to create that same kind of idea. Does that not look couture to you? Doesn't it look like Givenchy, darling? Yeah. Darling. Do you know what Givenchy <laughs> is? Okay, that's a little better. Doesn't it look like Yves Saint Laurent, 1972, honey? Yes. yes. Feel all of the skin, all of the skin. Does anybody know that reference? No. Okay. <laughs> no. No, they don't. Okay. So Ted, when you're when you're talking about texture and color of skin, how, wh what do you think is like different in the salon environment? Like, do you what do you say to hairdressers that are maybe afraid of texture? Well, I think we all create texture. We create a beach wave. We um, do perms. We're creating texture within texture all the time. And I think that if you know how to do a great blowout, you can work with any texture of hair because. Um, women who have textured hair, that's what they want. They want a really good blowout and a really good flat iron or a really good wave. And I think the majority of people sitting in this room know how to do that, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. yes. So honestly, it's really about the texture of hair and not the color of the skin. Yeah, you know, you guys should just give yourselves a round of applause because just by being in this room, yeah. you have elevated yourself to the top 20% of our industry. Yes. Yes, give yourselves yeah. a round of applause for that. Come on. Most of us, unfortunately, don't take advantage of education opportunities. So just by being here, being at the main stage, participating in any workshops that you're going to, taking advantage of the free classes that they're having, you have automatically put yourself into the top 20%. So good for you. Yes. Go back. Raise your prices. <laughs> yes. Do it now. We talk about it all the time. It's important that we know our value and that we know our worth. If you haven't raised your prices in a year, if you haven't raised your prices in two years, if you haven't raised your prices in five years, shame on you. It's time to raise your prices. Know your value, know your worth. If you want to hear more about that story, more about how you can do that, come and see Ted and I tomorrow. I can't remember what time our class is at. Same time as it was today? Mm -hmm, I think so. 12.45? I believe. If not, it's in the program. Yeah. Because I don't remember. But we'll get down and dirty into the business of beauty. Shell, that looks amazing. What are you popping on there? So I attempted to make a little flower, and you know everything goes great with glitter. So <laughs> sparkle. <laughs> so I sprinkled a little, and I just made a little creation. It's all about your creativity and how you're feeling, you know, the hair and how it's going. So I just so decided beautiful, to Shell. So beautiful. create. All right, are you guys ready to show off the models for the group? 
think so. Yeah, all right, awesome. So let's take a look at the girls that we did for you just now, and then Ted will be back for his finale. Yes. 